William Shakespeare's famous work, Hamlet, Prince of Denmark, is a tragedy written around the year 1600. The central themes of the play are existential questions, mental illness, and betrayal. Director Kevin Black sets Hamlet in modern society that's ruled by artificial intelligence systems, interrogating our relationships to technology and one another. Come, bring me his drink. Anything happened before that? No. This pearl is thine. Our sovereign. What a gift. Unbelievable. Shakespeare made a point of saying that uh, every step Hamlet took was a potentially a lethal one because his uncle knew Hamlet was not on his side. What that meant in Shakespeare's version was a ton of spying. So that's a 400-year-old theme in the piece, but that's not really the only thing I'm asking us to take a little longer look at, but using media to interrogate media and how there's a lot of really ramped up reshaping of information coming through the internet. And unprofitable to me seem all the uses of this world. Fire upon the thigh. It is an unweeded garden. Things rank and gross in nature possess it merely. I think Shakespeare was writing about humanity within certain constraints, emotional constraints, socio-political constraints, economic constraints, and what we do in that case. Humanity under certain pressures will do terrifying things. We're seeing ourselves in this older piece through kind of a patina of contemporary dress, and we're looking at it that way to see these issues that apply to us then, now, and forever, probably. Very similar characters you're seeing played out in real life. What's going on in the Ukraine and the political threat to their democracy. And I think in our election six years ago, there's similarities <laughs> between Trump and Claudius. Both don't care about the rule of law and are more concerned about their own political power. It's so easy to manufacture the narrative of evil. Oh, we're good over here. Over there is evil. I mean, we're seeing that unfortunately fold out on our cameras 24-7 now. That just reinforces your own narrative. So the ideas are pretty eternal and you can put these ideas of totalitarianism, of the authoritarian state, of corrupt leadership, of mental illness, and they'll always continue to apply. That's what's frightening is that history does repeat itself. And if you're, you're not familiar with the past, you're going to repeat it, you know? And it's like we, we're seeing this all over again. The question for us now is to be or not to be. Oh no, this is Shakespearean question. For 13 days, this question could have been asked. But now I can give you a definitive answer. It's definitely yes to be. The fact that President Zelensky quoted Hamlet to Parliament is a pretty strong testament to how the piece still tragically speaks to us in moments like that. When a president is desperately trying to hold on to his country and keep his people safe, and there's an existential threat. And to find that the way to address that publicly is through what Shakespeare was writing, it's very powerful to realize that those words work now. For wise men know well enough what monsters you make of us. To an honor go and quickly do farewell. There was a word that was used a lot in Shakespeare's day, and actually it was considered sort of a diagnosis. It was called melancholy. And that probably parallels pretty thoroughly nowadays with our modern diagnosis of, of depression. God have mercy on us all. And of all Christian souls. The topics of mental health often come up throughout the play. I, I think our society, we still shy away from that or we ignore it. And that goes back into uh, media and what we're watching constantly on our phones. It's polluting the minds of these young people as well. The sort of rolling, continuing refinement and complexity of data-driven technology, we're also sharing a ton of information about ourselves. And that gets to be very dicey because who's on the other end? The king drinks to Hamlet! States, kingships, countries, religions, any group that needs to organize around.
you know, American politics and the whole comment years ago with, well, we have alternative facts. It's difficult because eventually you are being fed this thing designed to corral you into one way of thinking. And a real tribute to the unification our sovereign has brought to the nation. He's a nation builder, a lover of the people. It's definitely a very intense family story and generationally. And, uh, and their struggles to try to come together in a very, very unhospitable environment. In another way, we're dealing with things that you might think about actually when you get a bit older, which is, what is this all about? <laughs> Why? Why are we here? And I think he's got a number of moments on stage where he's not only grappling with the difficulties of the very lethal environment he's in, but simply, like, should I stay or should I go, to be or not to be? And one of the reasons we keep going back to that play is it's wildly entertaining, but it also, it's not very generous with answers. The play asks you questions, and you start working your way through a series of thoughts and this picture of people having to work their way through isolation. And what do you do? You start wondering about existence and coming to some conclusions.